Hi, welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm focused on Hermes scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. Several of you have asked me about how I take care of my Hermes scarves. So in this video, I'll give you answers to frequently asked questions I get from you, my dear audience. Let's get started. Silk and cashmere, as you know, are luxurious, delicate, and natural fabrics that require special care to maintain both beauty and prolong lifespan. Caring for these fabrics does require a delicate touch as they can easily be damaged by water, heat, harsh chemicals, and more. But with proper care, silk and cashmere can last for many years and retain both their luster and soft feel. Let's talk first about how to clean your Hermes scarves. I have always been a fan of hand washing. Hand washing silk and cashmere is one of the best ways to keep it clean and preserve the quality. First, I'll thoroughly clean whatever sink it's going into, sometimes a kitchen sink or more often in the bathroom. And after that, I'll run a bath of tepid water and add a mild detergent. I've been using baby wash for years, but of course you may have your favorite gentle cleanser. You swirl the water to create suds and gently submerge the garment, taking care not to rub or twist it. You let it soak in there for a few minutes, and then for the first rinse, I add about a quarter cup of vinegar with cold water to remove any soap residue and to restore the fabric's luster. After that, I rinse thoroughly again with water, being careful not to wring or twist the fabric, which can damage it. Then, once it's rinsed, I lay it flat on a towel and roll it up to remove the excess water from the fabric. After that, I hang it to air dry until it's only lightly damp. Then, I iron it on its lowest heat setting to smooth everything out. Now, Hermes does have a series of scarves, specifically called wash scarves, that are machine washable. Some of you have said you do this, others not. A while back, I asked an Hermes sales assistant how he handled them, and he too said that he hand washed everything. But some of you have also emboldened me, and actually, I've started using a machine on non wash scarves, especially where I feel like the scarf is not as getting as clean as I would like by hand. Obviously, if you're going to use a washing machine, you need to use the delicate cycle and just like hand washing, a mild detergent. Also, be sure to place the silks or cashmere scarf in a mesh laundry bag to protect it from snagging or twisting during the wash cycle. And this should be obvious, but I'll say it anyways to be clear. Do not use bleach or fabric softeners as these can damage the silk and cashmere fibers. Dry cleaning is also an option and actually what is recommended from Hermes. This is not an option I ever use for my Hermes scarves because I'm concerned about the chemicals. But if you want to pursue this, it's important to find a reputable dry cleaner who specializes in silk. Ask them if they use a solvent-based or wet cleaning process as some methods can damage these fabrics again. Also, make sure to point out any stains or areas of concern to the dry cleaner, just like you would with any other garment, as they can take extra care during the cleaning process. When drying silk, it's important to avoid direct sunlight and heat. Even when I have used the washer, I still let it air dry in a cool, well-ventilated area. Obviously, avoid using a dryer as the heat can shrink or damage silk fibers. And then again, you can use a steamer or iron on its lowest setting. And I forgot to mention this, I also use a pressing cloth to protect the fabric. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I personally use a piece of white muslin. You may have a scrap in your sewing box, or you can find something similar at Joanne Fabrics or even Amazon.
I will add that if your silk scarf gets stained, it's important to treat a stain immediately. You can blot it with a clean, damp cloth, but don't rub or scrub at it because this can damage the fabric. And if it persists, obviously you can take the garment to a professional cleaner or try a gentle stain remover specifically designed for silk. And if you can't get the stain out and you're brave enough, you can dip dye it. I had a stain that I couldn't get out, so I did a DIY dip dye to mask it. If you haven't seen my video, be sure to check that out. Put a link in the upper corner here. Really, there was nothing to lose. And actually, I wear the scarf pretty often after dip dyeing it. Storing silk and cashmere properly is also important to maintain the quality. It's important to store silk, and I treat my cashmeres in the same way, in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight and moisture. I have a whole video on how I store my scarves. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check that out. You'll see a link in the upper corner here. After I've worn them, I usually air out my scarves before putting them away. And when I do hang them to air out, personally, I use wooden hangers and hang them just like I would a pair of slacks. Once it has aired, I refold it and place it back in the drawer. And I wash on an as-needed basis. Some of you have asked me about makeup, lotions, perfume, and hairspray in relation to wearing Hermes scarves. So let's start with makeup. Personally, I don't wear makeup on my neck. If you do foundation or whatever, I just avoid wearing the scarf around the neck in that case. I do wear sunblock though and lotion. With lotion, I wait until my skin is completely dry to the touch before I put on any scarf and I also use a dry touch sunblock for the same reason. Just be aware that some lotions and makeup contain oils, pigments, or other substances that can stain or discolor silk. Additionally, rubbing the lotion or makeup into the fabric can damage their delicate fibers. Incidentally, sweat can stain, especially with lighter colored scarves, but really any scarf, if I'm sweating, I take it off. That may be easier said than done if you're wearing it as a halter, for example, but I'm usually wearing it around my neck. Anyways, that scarf will be washed at my earliest opportunity since I don't want the salt from the sweat to settle into the fibers and potentially stain. As for perfume and hairspray, just know that anything alcohol-based can damage silk, weakening the fibers. So for me, it's not that I avoid using these products, it's just that I apply them before I put my scarf on. I treat my scarves like jewelry. They're usually the last things that I put on, whether I'm wearing lotion, sunblock, perfume, or hairspray. What about food? Some of you have asked me what I typically do when I'm wearing a scarf during meals. Coffee, tea, red wine, soy sauce, bolognese, all of the above and more can accidentally spatter on your clothes and scarf. You may be less sloppy than me, most people are, but there are a few precautions that I usually take depending on the situation. If I'm wearing a scarf choker style with no exposed scarf tails in the front, I'll normally just leave it as it is. While of course it could happen, knock on wood, the likelihood of me spilling something on myself that high up is pretty slim. If I'm wearing a long tail style or anything where there's a lot of scarf hanging in the front, sometimes I turn it around so that most of it hangs in the back during the meal or I take it off completely. Sometimes better safe than sorry, and you can always redo the knot. I've heard from other scarfies that they sometimes will just cover their scarves with a napkin. Certainly that's an option, just not something I personally ever do, but whatever works for you is just fine. Like anything, when wearing silk twill or cashmere scarves, you have to be cautious about snagging hazards. That means potentially rings, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, watches, or it could be something you brush up against accidentally or otherwise. 
Knock on wood, I don't think I've snagged any of my silk twill scarves, or at least I haven't noticed any runs, but I did once snag one of my cashmere GMs, and I got to tell you, I was gutted when I realized what had happened. I couldn't tell you how it happened, but I sure saw it when I was putting it away after wearing it. I ended up repairing it after seeing one of the scarfies on Instagram share her technique. And I will say it requires a lot of patience, a fine needle, and for me, a magnifying lamp to tease those threads back into place. So while that thankfully was recoverable, I try to be extra cautious now when wearing any scarf because I personally don't want to have to go through that again. <laughs> Even scarf rings, especially if you're taking the DIY approach and using other jewelry or buckles you may find or have, be sure to check those too for any sharp edges that might pull at your fine scarves. If you haven't seen my video on scarf rings, I'll put a link there in the upper corner. So there you have it. Answers to your most frequently asked questions to me on Hermes Scarf Care. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, tutorials, and more. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time.